Hi, Noah Morales here, founder of Connect the Dots Learning, and what we're going to be talking about today is math fluency. Now, as I've mentioned to you before, it's very important that when children are reading, they're able to read fluently. This is going to allow them to process the information more smoothly, it's going to allow them to be able to comprehend the text, and we want the same thing to happen with math. We want them to be able to quickly and accurately calculate math problems so that it doesn't interrupt their flow and their processing. So what we're going to be talking about today is, again, math fluency, and I have a couple of tips that I can give you so that your children and you can practice at home their math fluency. Here's an example of a front card and a back card when it involves addition. So what you're going to do is you just want to create a bunch of these flashcards, and you can do it with multiplication, you can do it with division, you can do it with subtraction, you can do it however you want. But just want to give you an example here. So here we have the front card. We have 8 and 4. We can certainly put a plus there and a plus there so that they're aware that we're adding. And then on the back, you can put 12. And again, you can do this repeatedly with as many different cards as you want. You can use scratch pieces of paper. You can use index cards, whatever you feel comfortable with and whatever you have at your disposal at your house. It's really up to you. Now, the other thing that I want to talk to you about that I'll take a little bit more time to do is talking about this circle here. And what we want to do is we want them to be able to process the information more quickly. We want them to be able to recognize these numbers and how to add them at a much rapid pace. So what you do here is you're going to look at the inner circle. And what you're going to do is you're going to have your child start to quickly add 1 plus 5. And they should be able to rapidly say 6. Then you want them to do 1 plus 15. And they should say 16. Then you want them to do 1 plus 25, that would be 26. 1 plus 35, which would be 36. And then they could start to see a pattern. They could start to develop a pattern. Same thing goes with, for example, 6. You would actually go around all these numbers and do 1 plus 5, 1 plus 15, 1 plus 25, 1 plus 35, 1 plus 45, 1 plus 55, 1 plus 65, 1 plus 75, 1 plus 85, 1 plus 95, and then you would repeat the same with 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So for example, if we did the uh, number 6 here, it would be 6 plus 5, and we know that that's 11. Then you would have your child do 6 plus 15. Then they would see that it's 21. Then you would do 6 plus 25, and guess what? It's going to be 31. 6 plus 35, 41. 6 plus 45, 51. Again, we want to build their fluency. And the more they're able to see these patterns, the quickly, the more quickly they're going to be able to add. And this is our goal. You can create these on a piece of paper with whatever numbers you want. It's really up to you. I'm just giving you an outline, a template of what you could use at your house. So this is what you could use and have them practice this with side addition. You want them to be able to, again, to fluently process this information and you want them to be able to calculate the information and the numbers at a much rapid pace. This is going to help them out with algebra and geometry and calculus and all those wonderful uh, math subjects that they're going to be learning as they get older. So with that said, thank you very much. Again, we'll see you soon.